Creating a hyperlinked spreadsheet. Keeping track of all the learning objects at a particular grade level can be a challenge. As the teacher works to meet the individual needs of each student, teachers will learn how to connect to other resources from a spreadsheet by creating hyperlinks, making all the resources immediately accessible with a click of the mouse. Using a spreadsheet helps to see the progression of the standards and the resources needed to help students. Specifically, we're going to start with a spreadsheet that's available in Google Drive, one of the features you can use within Google Drive. And Google Drive it lives in the cloud, and it helps you connect all your different devices. There's all different things you can do, um, spreadsheets, documents, forms, all different things. We're going to be focusing specifically on the strategy of hyperlinking within the spreadsheet environment. But once you learn to hyperlink here, you can hyperlink anywhere. I selected spreadsheets because it's the organization piece that we're working on, is to keep everything together so you can see the progression of students. That's why I chose spreadsheets. To get into your Google Drive, go to Google. Upper right hand corner, sign in, but don't forget, it's going to keep you signed in until you sign out. So make sure you always remember, especially if you're on a public or school computer. This is an example of a spreadsheet. And it's quite outdated, but it's the most visual one that I had. Now, a lot of people are afraid of spreadsheets and think they're, you know, they're safe for the finance world. There is such a great way to organize and um, keep track of all your thinking. Now, as you look at this entire spreadsheet, we only have one hyperlink on there. Dictionary.com, you know it's a hyperlink because it is blue and it is underlined. And so that was going to, I'm going to guess, out to the App Store to give us um, more information about that app. This is an outdated spreadsheet, so I won't even give you the link, but the concept was great. It was at a conference, and they shared this spreadsheet, which is uh, the sharing part is something that you can do right in Google Documents. Uh, you could always open up any program that you have for spreadsheets, so the same skills I'm teaching you can be done in almost any um, spreadsheet program. I think every spreadsheet program. So first thing you do in Drive, once you log in, you go in and make a, a you go to the Create button, and you go to Spreadsheet. If you already have something made, you can use that little button next to it and upload something. And here's an example of somebody's dissertation survey questions right here. And this is, this is a spreadsheet. And so um, just so you have the, the lingo, um, where you see the A, B, C, D across the top, those are called the columns all the way down. And then the left, where you see the one, two, threes, those are the rows. To make them bigger or smaller, you actually uh, use your mouse and click between, like, look between the C and the D. There's a line. You just click on that and drag either way to make it wider or smaller, depending on what you're, you're putting in your spreadsheet. And you go ahead and, oh, this is very important. You can go ahead and start your spreadsheet in Excel, upload it to Google Docs, and then you can go ahead and bring it back to Excel if you want to do that. So you, you have lots of flexibility with this. Okay, now under the edits, you have functionality. Now here's the big thing to remember, is in a program, let's say Microsoft Office, for example, Microsoft Office, awesome spreadsheet, it's called Excel. You're going to have a lot more features than you're going to find here in Google Drive, but it also comes with a price tag. And uh, this, happily, we're looking at is free. We love free. Uh, here are a few things that you can do in the view. And you can turn on and off those things. You can see where the check marks are. So if you're used to looking at your uh, spreadsheet in a different way, you can go ahead and change that to whatever you want. You can insert different things, especially I played with, I hadn't played with in a long time, inserting an image into one of the cells. And I thought, oh, especially if you teach at the lower grades, we could have a picture and then we could have a word next to it. It's just a good way to organize. I always think when I need something in kind of a grid or a table, my mind always thinks a spreadsheet first. You, yes, you can make tables and other things, but I always I think about a spreadsheet whenever I need to have things lined up in columns and things like that. You've got a lot. Now, not only can you input text data, you can go ahead and do lots of computations and things like that within the spreadsheet. Here's a few things that you can do. And again, um, sorting. Whenever I have to work with a lot of data, um, a, 
different names that I might have to sort or different categories, I always think spreadsheet. All right, and here's some other things. One other thing, too, is when you're working in Google Docs, you notice in this menu the notification rules can be set. So let's say our team is working on our grade level um, standards, and we want to see the progressions with all the other grade levels. If we're sharing the document, we can set up our notifications to be notified when the um, spreadsheet has been updated. Now, the form. This is really cool. Forms and spreadsheets are tied together. You'll learn about forms in another session, but it's great to know that when you answer questions on a form, the information gets dropped into a spreadsheet. This is new to me. I didn't play with the chart editor. I'm pretty darn good in Excel with creating charts, but I was able to play a little bit in here. And just like in Excel, you can take your data and, and create charts to visually um, show your information. So I played a little bit, some nice customizing features here. Here's how you can insert an image, and I was a little surprised by this. When I, when I was looking, I'm like, oh, wow, what is take a snapshot? And all of a sudden, ah, there's my webcam. So that's what that is. So that could be very interesting how you could use that. Comments. Another thing you can do is comment right within the spreadsheet. So you can, you don't, maybe don't want to muck with the information in the spreadsheet, but you want to say, hey, what's, what, what's this information? Great way to give feedback back to students or for them to ask questions. Now, did not know this, and, and I am not a computer programmer kind of person, but um, if, if I was, this is where I go to the script gallery and there's tons of different things in here and these are little um, here all I'm gonna say is plugins plugins for the lack of a better term that you can plug into your spreadsheet and you can get all different things um, all different features oh, that was really interesting um, Ooh, then I, of course I had to go to education and um, grade delivery and there's lots of ways that you can do this to set up quizzes that are self-graded. How's that? This one, the, the middle one, they can uh, send the students' grades to their email automatically. So people all over are making these little plugins for you. So it's worth dropping by and looking around. You'll see this later, but this is an example of what the what a form looks like. So the form is the I always say the form is the pretty side. The spreadsheet is where the data works, where you can make charts and graphs and things like that. So they are tied together. I don't think I could say that enough with all these classes. It gets a little confusing. Uh, here's an example of the summary of responses. And I used one of their scales from 0 to 5. So that's where you can see my nice little bar graph. And I can go ahead and see what everybody knows already, what I need to review. Now, you can also, this word embed, you hear me say this in multiple um, sessions. Embed means um, it's like a hyperlink. It's like a super hyperlink that you go ahead and hyperlink to um, a different, um, where, where your spreadsheet looks like it lives on the website, but it's actually being embedded from your Google Drive. The great part about embedding is you can make the change and it flows out. So if you have it embedded in three of your class web pages the change you make the change once and it flows to everybody else oh one thing please make sure you label your spreadsheets or any of your documents in google docs if not you'll end up like me untitled 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 it doesn't help with organization very much sharing settings every single uh, document within uh, google docs has the ability to share and you share with a variety of ways and we covered that in on and off but just remember that you can share this document and the next one can be completely private so you don't have to share your whole world okay now that I've kind of walked around the spreadsheet now let's get into the hyperlinking because the hyperlink what what that really means is just a connection to another resource usually when you hear the term hyperlink it usually means to another website but in this world of um, Google Docs, you can also go and link to other documents. You can link um, it, you can link to it just about anything that's online. All right. Um, every single web page on the internet has its own unique address. And you can see by looking at this, I can hyperlink to it, but that is one ugly looking hyperlink. I know that that would really, really bother some of you. So we can make it tiny.
and for free, of course we love free, the tiny is on tinyurl.com. This is one of about, I don't know, a hundred sites that you can shorten up your big ad address. And so look at the uh, long URL. You All you do is you paste in that big ugly address and then you press make tiny URL and there you get it. There it is. You can see kind of in the right in the, the middle of the page, that big one for YouTube now went to a tiny URL. Now you copy that and you paste it. Look how much nicer that link versus the first link. But I know that's still going to bother some of you. As of right now in Google Drive, you can't just um, write type a word like hyperlink to another website and then highlight it and hyperlink to it. So you can't do that at this moment in time. So if you need to have it pretty just like this, you may have to go to a more robust software package. This one happens to be Excel. So if you need it neat and gorgeous like this, you may want to build it in Excel, do all your formatting, and then you could always upload it for collaboration. Now we learned about hyperlinking spreadsheets so we can keep track of all of the progressions of standards and everything else. That's the hardest thing is keeping track of all the data. Think about hyperlinks are just another way for you to get organized between one document to the next. Thanks.